I'm Diana. If you have a magnetic track where all the permanent magnets have the same strength, the slider will not move. The slider magnet will only move when the magnetic track okay. has a strength difference along its length. The slider magnet will be repelled to the strongest magnet to the weakest magnet. The trouble with this is, when using permanent magnets, you can only make a magnetic track a few feet long. You can only make the first magnet so strong. And this is the limiting factor. Attempts to try to add together short links of magnetic track usually fails. Here is one short length of track joined with another track. This will not work. Here is the end of one short track. And here is the beginning of another. The magnetic lines of repulsion go in both directions. Coming from the center of each magnet, This means the slider magnet is pushed over with two units of force here. It is resistant with one unit of force here. This means it is propelled forward with only one unit of force here. But here its movement is resisted by five units of force. So the slider magnet will come to a stop. The solution to the problem is to make the slider magnet V-shape. This consists of a south pole and a north pole. At the front of the V, it's the north pole magnet. This acts as a magnetic shield. It prevents the repulsive force of the magnetic track at the front of the V-slider from reaching the south pole of the V-slider. The north pole to act as a shield for the south pole. This is what allows for success. The north pole is attracted to the track and pulls the V forward. Each track magnet would want to hold the north pole in place, but the south pole magnet is 10 times stronger in its repulsion and keeps pushing the slider forward. The V-shaped slider allows all the permanent magnets in the track to all have the same strength. This in turn allows for very long straight tracks many miles long or for tracks going in complete circles.